Dragon throwing his Diddy Kong out. Mario. We have Terabyte going with the Mario. It's interesting to see Terabyte use these different characters. There especially, are especially early on, he's been known for his Pikachu. He has, but recently he started he started counter picking. Maybe he just doesn't. Like, because Pikachu does lack kill power. That's one of his biggest flaws, that he can't take the stock at high percentages. And he does not benefit off of Rage like other characters do. So he's possibly using these characters to counterpick what he feels like are Pikachu's uh, worst, more worst matchups. So. And we have seen, um, Ally... The ally versus zero match, but ally is actually up in games versus zero. So we have seen that this matchup is the Mario matchup is just a little hard for Diddy. And as we see, Terabyte does have a percentage lead, but Lycan is very slowly closing this up, catching him with the clap there. But he's just gonna retreat back to ledge to try to ledge trap him. Tried to sneak in that up smash. I can just getting a shield on it though. Trying to look for that pivot grab there. Lycan finally taking that. Okay, no. <laughs> I think he's finally taking that percentage lead, but it's still very close. I'd say whoever takes the first game is going to have the momentum in this match. In the first. They're going to terrorize Mario. Not afraid to use that cape. Ooh. And very quickly, Lycan has oh, gotten this. wanted for the mm -hmm. trump, but they both had buffering. the input. Oh. This could be it. Yeah, Lycan very quickly uh, increasing the gap in percentages there. You know, getting Terabyte up to 140 and finally taking the stock. Back there, I'm not going to take it, but Terabyte's fishing for something on that platform. Lycan has him off stage. Oh my god, stream. Forward throw. And this is where Lycan is strongest, keeping his keeping the pressure on his opponent on ledge. Oh the, the up smash mm -hmm. again. I can just getting the shield out in time. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to look for the up smash. Possibly trying to catch a run up grab. Yeah, Turbite just can't find a way to end this stock. His up smash is—he's been trying to fish for that up smash, but it's not. Again, going hasn't for the been trump, not gonna oh, find it. Finally, gonna get that up smash. smash. He does have a lot of percentage to bring back. Of course, he can never count out Mario. He's a very strong comeback character. Mario can take advantage of this rage. Mm -hmm. Just has to be careful with it. Trying to go for that pivot grab there. It's going to be interrupted. They're jumping around each other. Terabyte's trying to look for that opening he wants to get this percentage. And Lycan just playing safely and trying to get his oh, opening the to take the stock. The peanut caped right back at him. Mm -hmm. Back throw. Catch him, no up tilt connection, but he's gonna get these grabs in. <gasps> oh, wanted Terabyte the just, up smash yeah. after that down tilt, not gonna find it. Terabyte jumping just out of the way. <laughs> Terabyte camping with the fireballs, once again trying to get an opening, get some more damage in. That's gonna be it. Oh, the banana. All he needed. Found the banana, reading the jump. Mm -hmm. And following through with with the back air. Advantage Lycan. And he chooses his ban the stage to ban. Terabyte getting some more coaching from Zero. Three, two, one. We have a 
run this next one onto Battlefield. This will give the Mario more options to camp away from that banana. That banana's been uh, a candidate of zone control for the Diddy. Mario going for that cape. Don't see too many Marios utilize it too much. But with the immediate punishes from Lycan, it's easy to see why most Marios would like not to use it. Up oh, gets the trump that time, but unfortunately the back air is not enough to kill. Oh, the banana to get the Z drop banana to mess with Mario's get up. Oh, the cape right onto the aerial. Uh, he's really oh, he's out of the up smash. Up smash, but instead gets a instead gets a back air. Unfortunately, the not gonna find. Battlefield. Yeah. Uh, Battlefield's a very huge stage. Trying to look at that up tilt now. It's a move you have to remember Diddy has in his inventory because at high percentages it is going to take your stock. But monkey flip. Monkey flip, not going to find the kill despite the percentage. Again, battlefield. Back that air, one. that will do mm -hmm. it. It's unfortunate because Terabyte could have taken advantage of all that rage he had. We've seen Mario's come back on battlefield. It's probably their strongest comeback stage. Oh, the monkey flip. I'm gonna jab him out of that, uh, banana. Pull. Oh, there's oh, the forward smash. The pull back F smash. So, 34 damage on turret, but that's not a lot to bring back, but as we know, Lycan can make these percentages grow. Uh, couldn't off find speed. anything to do after the neutral air, so Diddy punishes accordingly. Monkey flip. Mm -hmm. It's caught by the up tilt trying to get down from the platform. Your turbine has to be careful because the pressure Lycan puts on with simply having the banana in his hand and, be and being able to throw it at the correct time is going to lead to some percentage rack up. I feel like Terabyte should be trying to grab the banana out of the air as it's being thrown. Or as he did earlier, try to do something to... Getting close as he's throwing it. Hmm. Come up with a punish of his own. Trying to look for that monkey are making him drop the banana, unfortunately he slips on it. Up smash! Not gonna be enough. We got Not enough, especially with battlefields. Oh, Kinda tried to cape the monkey flip and just mistimed it. Using the jump option to avoid the banana. Oh, the for those platform. Yeah, if Lycan wouldn't have teched, that would have been an up air carry. Up smash Catching. off the top platform and that will do it. Mm -hmm. Terra by doing a good job though. Of trying to bring it back, but Lycan is a formidable foe. 